Last time on Abandoned, the campers started to get used to their new home for the next two months. The cabins, the bathrooms, the food, everything that gets the excitement sucked right out of them. The teams were tasked with each building a robot, and Team Lunala had the ability to be given pointers from robot expert Porygon Z, which were never used thanks to Mincino wasting the questions. Magby was able to help his team out leadership-wise thanks to his skills from the Robotics Club, while Team Lunala were led by Scatterbug and her high IQ. Snivy, knowing that she was on the bottom of her team, formed an alliance with Cyndaquil and Zorwa, and despite their doubts, they decided to go with it for the time being. And finally, while Team Lunala had an idea in place, Ralts, unaware of how the challenge entirely worked, came up with her own plan and convinced the men on her team to help her. No surprise, their new robot failed and cost their team the win. And at elimination, the girls, along with Riolu and Munchlax, decided to send Ralts to the bus of shame. Two down, 30 to go. What will happen this time on Abandoned? <laughs> Hello morning, hello birds, hello Hariyama. Were you out pottying with Trico last night? No, I'm just in a good mood. You want to know why? Yellow cards getting back together? <laughs> no, they're still done. Then what? It's been four days since the show started, and nothing has gone wrong. That's great. No, 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 hear me out. Every job I've ever had has gone by the four-day rule. Something has always gone wrong for me within the first four days. Sometimes bad enough to get me fired. But everything has gone so well so far. I mean, there have been a couple of hiccups, like the cue cards going up in flames. But for the most part, no issues. Well, good for you, I guess. You want eggs? Are you cooking them? No. Bring them on. You got it. No offense taken, by the way. I am just... at an all-time high right now. Nothing can bring me down. Can you get that? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Not really sure who'd be knocking at this hour, but... Let's see. Well, hey there! There's my favorite nephew! No! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hello? Oh, perfect. You're here. Yep. Here I am. What's up? Um, well, Evie, I... I wanted to ask you something. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, look. I'm flattered. Really, I am, but I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's, that's not what it is at all. Oh. Well, this got very awkward. Uh, what's up? I was just wondering if you wanted to form an alliance with me. Oh, wow, really? Absolutely. You seem to be the most level-headed person on the team. And you have a firm grasp on what's going on around here. You seem trustworthy, and that's something I really need right now. Well, um, I think it sounds great. Yes, I'll join the Alliance, absolutely. Excellent. I'm promising you right here and now that I will never write your name down. And neither will I. Now, I have one more thing to ask of you. Sure, anything. Can you try to recruit some more people into the Alliance? The more allies we have, the better. Absolutely. Great, I'd really like to go after some people on the team. Especially Fletchling. Oh, I hear you loud and clear. I'll do my best. Great. And I will do the same. So, meeting adjourned. Whew. Evie is a nice, sweet, confident girl. She is the perfect ally to have in a game like this. And is, who I feel, the closest to my own personality. I hope our chemistry only improves from here. Whew. I'm really glad Riolu asked me to be in an alliance. He's probably the most sane person on the team. And is a really reliable leader. When he's not arguing with Fletchling. Still, things are looking pretty good for Eevee. Whew. Hmm. Okay. Any second now? And they'll be here. Whew. With the game progressing forward, alliances are being formed. So I thought it would be a smart idea to form one of my own. Get myself a little further into the game. So I went all around camp to try and recruit people into an alliance. And I think I've put together a pretty good one. Whew. I'd just like to welcome you all to our first alliance meeting. Yay! Alright! This is pretty cool, dude. It sure is, Derek. It sure is. Whew. I know what you're thinking. It's like the Island of Misfit Toys, but hear me out. These guys are not the smartest players we have, but they're all very gullible, and they'd be willing to do exactly what I say, no questions asked. Whew. Okay, so first of all, let's start thinking of potential targets. I personally think that Fletchling is the weakest, and her personality is kind of- What's a cool alliance name? Um, I don't know. Let's talk about that later, okay? Now, back to Fletch. How about just the Alliance? No, man, it's gotta be a badass name. How about the Kitty Cats? They're so cute! Nah, too girly. Shouldn't be crazy. It should be simple. Guys, seriously, we don't have time for names right now. We have to work. Yeah, you're right. Thank you! It should be simple. Damn it! But not too simple. Something that's cool that you understand. Let's think about this. The Crashing Wave Alliance is a go. We are gonna kill this game. Woo! I'm already starting to regret this. There is a house in New Orleans. They call it the rising. Wait. Hello? Who's there? Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I was just wandering through and I couldn't help but hear you singing. Oh, that's that's all right. Um what are you doing here? I just like to come in here and clear my head of the game, you know. Yeah, same here. I try to go far enough into the forest so I can play my music in peace. Do you prefer playing in private? Not really. I perform venues all over my town. I just like to hang out here and try to perfect my sound. 
I know that probably sounds ridiculous. Oh, no, not at all. I get it. I mean, I don't sing, but I understand that you want to master your craft. It's really cool. Hmm. Thanks. If you want, I could play you something real quick. Oh, sure, I'd love to hear something. Great, let me just get set up. Whew. To be honest, I didn't come here in the best of moods. There was a ton of personal stuff I had to deal with back home, and it's left me kind of depressed. But hanging out with Taylor and hearing him sing, it's given me a reason to smile again. It really has. Whew. Okay. Uncle Escavalier. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You bought a couple of jet skis. Yes. For your girlfriend. Correct. But she turned out to be the daughter of a crime boss. Big Vinny. Yep. And now you owe a crime mob $2,000. And that, my dear nephew, is where you come in. Cough it up. Uncle Escavalier, I'm not cleaning up your mess. You're not going to get any money. Oh, come on. Didn't your dad ever tell you not to be so stingy? Never mind. But you have billions! I'm only taking $2,000. You won't even notice it's gone. It's still not my problem. It's yours. You do this shit all the time. And someone's always had to have their arm twisted and bail you out of trouble. Not anymore. I've got a job to do right now. I refuse to give you any money. But forget it. Not happening. Um, if I may interject, I might have a solution that might help both parties. And what's that? Earn the money yourselves. That way you don't just have to pay him and you don't really lose anything because it's technically not your money. I guess. But I still don't really want to be the one to do it. Yeah, and I can't really do much because of my back. Oh. My. Arceus. You sprained it golfing six years ago! I'm an old man, Bisharp. You're 57! You're not that old! Actually, I had another idea on who could get us the money. And who might that be? Attention campers, please report to the challenge area in 10 minutes! Whew. Did they really have to call us over now? We didn't even get to eat breakfast. Exactly. Consider it a blessing. Still, it would have been nice to have eaten something. Here. Here's a stick. Nature's beef jerky. Bottoms up. Don't worry. I brought a small stash of food with me, since I figured that the food here would suck. You can have some later if you want. Uh, thank you so much. You're awesome. Whew. I'm awesome. Her words, not mine. Whew. Hello, campers. I hope you all enjoyed your rest because you are going to need every bit of strength today. Because this challenge is not just about teamwork, it's also about creativity. This challenge might seem simple on the outside, but it is much harder than you expect. You mean like eating spaghetti? Exactly like eating spaghetti. Now, it's summertime. What does that usually mean? No school. Ladies. Drinks by the pool. Warm weather? Ladies in bikinis. All very good. But I was actually talking about food. Hot dogs, burgers, watermelon, and of course, lemonade. You know that's technically a drink, right? Not important. But I'm talking to you about lemonade because that is today's challenge. Making lemonade. Are you f***ing serious? I thought the last challenge was stupid. How much exactly did you plan for this show? Do you have any cool challenge ideas? Like I said before, this is about creativity. We will all be taking a field trip to the local farmer's market, where you will be able to create your recipe and make it as unique and flavorful as you'd like. You'll also be selling brownies to go with your drinks, but they're not really going to matter towards the final score. People will try both samples and will either submit a red chip 
or a blue chip to the final bin. And whichever team gets more votes wins the challenge and is safe tonight from elimination. Team Sogaleo, since you won the robot challenge, you will have a wider range of ingredients to make your lemonade taste great. Okay, challenge explained. The bus to the farmer's market leaves in half hour. Get ready. Gee, who's excited to squeeze hundreds of lemons in the blistering heat? Oh, I am, I am. Smart challenge, huh? Yeah, sure, but how exactly will this earn you two grand? If this is a free taste test, how are you gonna get any money? <laughs> oh, it's all in the fine print, remember? Ah yes, the fine print. Screws over more people than horrible lawyers. Exactly. Oh, hey, I forgot to ask. Where did you get the idea for the challenge? Oh, it just came to me. <sighs> oh. My. Arceus. Those. Assholes. I know exactly why they are doing this challenge. Remember what I said a couple days ago? I thought these challenges would be all about camp activities, not something this out of the box. I mean, what's next week? Build a lemonade stand? They're doing this either to get on my nerves, or that they just listen to whatever I say. Hey, Bisharp, if you're listening, I would love the next challenge to be just relaxing poolside. And whichever team does a better job, wins. Okay? Okay. This is gonna be so much fun! Yay! <sighs> Alright, campers, here we are at the farmer's market. Now, we're getting started very shortly. Howdy, y'all! Welcome to the farmer's market! No, 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 no! Hariyama, Hariyama, we cut this. We cut this out, remember? Things I'd do for you, Bishop. I spend $10 on that book on accents. Yeah, that's coming out of your check, by the way. Okay, so, uh, your tents are over there. All the ingredients you need will be there. Uh, go nuts. I don't think you realize how hard a southern accent is to learn. There's a system, man! So, does anyone want to take charge? Not me. I did it last time. Um... I suppose I could do something. It's only lemonade, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, and I'll help you out. I mean, not that you'll need it. Oh, thank you. She is so into me. Okay, here's the plan. Marip, Pansia, Zorua, and Ghastly. Each of you will work on making the lemonade. Excellent. Me, Electroike, Snivy, and Cyndaquil will gather the ingredients. The rest of you start thinking of ideas. Got it. Fine. Oh, okay. No can do. <laughs> Why not? Because today, I'm going home. What? W what do you mean? Are you quitting? No, but I know the producers are going to kick me off next. What? Yep. They made a list at the start of all this, and I'm the next to go. Oh, for Pete's sake, dude. The producers aren't behind anything. Oh, really? So Skitty and Ralts' eliminations didn't seem at all suspicious to you? No, not at all. Mark my words, I'm going home tonight. You'll be surprised. Whatever, look, just help us out today, and maybe you won't go home. But I have to! It's fate! I can't fight fate! Well, you're starting now. Start thinking of ideas. <sighs> I tell you what, if we lose the challenge today, we might just grant Bergmite's wishes, and... Fulfill the prophecy, so to speak. Whew. They all think I'm insane. But I know exactly what I'm talking about. I knew that Skitty and Ralts were going to go first. Well, actually I had it the other way. And thought Ralts would go home before Skitty. But, clearly they knew I was on to them. And so they switched the order. So I'm still on the right track. I'm on to you guys. Whew. Okay, losers. Since we lost the last challenge, it's clear that you all need my leadership more than ever. Ugh. Well, you didn't do too much to help out last time. Shut up, bird. That's why I'm taking charge now. Okay, we don't have much to work with, but I think we can still come up with something great. Plus, we also have to serve brownies, so maybe we can sway some of the votes with those. But Bisharp said brownies don't count for the score. I know, I mean it can sway some of the votes. 
We'll spruce the scene up. We'll make the stupid lemonade, but attract votes with other cool things. Tricks, stunts, flavor, anything to make this place seem cool. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm impressed. Good job, Fletchling. <laughs> About time I get some recognition. Okay, um, we'll think of some ideas while a couple of you guys go make the lemonade. Whew. This is it. This is how it all starts. Soon they'll all be under my control. Whew. Hmm. Okay, let's add some water to this. Sugar. This needs sugar. Go bold or go home. <laughs> this will be great. Whew. How's it going? Pretty well. I think mine turned out great. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. That's pretty good. Very well balanced. You have the gift. Aw, thanks. You're sweet. No problem. Gorgeous. Okay, Pansia, what about yours? Well, for mine, I've added both raspberries and strawberries to the drink. Wow, that's a lot of fruit. Did you expect anything else from me? Ha! <laughs> that's funny. Let's see. Wow, that is good. Very creative. Whew. I have a knack for this kind of stuff. Ever since I was little, I've watched cooking shows and read up on how to make things taste delicious. To be honest... I've spent more time in the kitchen than I did in the closet. Whew. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. Zorua. Also good, but a tad strong, though. What's in it? I used basil. I think I may have added a little too much, though. Still a contender, don't worry. Ghastly? Actually, I would like all of you to try this one. Oh, okay. Uh, gather around, guys. Ghastly, this just tastes like regular lemonade. Wait for the kick. What kick? Oh. Man, that went through fast. Oh, ow, yeah, same here. Ghastly, what did you do? Oh, I just used the regular ingredients. Lemons, water, sugar, and of course, Speedy Lax. The Speedy Lax? Oh god, out of my way! Ghastly, why? Why would you do that? Oh, come on. This is hilarious, no? I'm going for no! Where's the bathroom?! Forget that! I'm going in the bushes! Ghastly... Ah! <laughs> that was very funny. Will they hate me? Yes. But I am a plankster, and I love myself for it. I'm not ashamed to admit it. It took a while, but our team finally came up with an idea for a recipe. Not surprisingly, it was courtesy of Fletchling. We had to do all these crazy rules, like let the lemons sit for an hour before they could be squeezed. And to use exactly 3 and 1 15th teaspoons of sugar per batch. It was just really insane. Let's go team! Squeeze those lemons! Pour that sugar! We have a challenge to win! Well maybe you should help out then. I am! I'm coaching! I don't think you need coaching for making lemonade. In this game, you need coaching for everything. And guess what, Bug Brain? You just wasted your break. Get back to work! Huh. <laughs> Thanks, Scatterbug. Don't blame me, she's the crazy one. She's right. You see, Alliance, that's why she should be the next one to- BOOM! Man, this is going by so fast. Can you help me? I don't think I'm cutting right. Oh, no problemo. <sighs> why do I even bother? Easy. Easy. It's just a lemon, Derek. We have plenty more. Well, you could screw up every one of them. That's almost impossible to be that bad, Derek. Oh, wait. That's right. That's why I'm doing them. Oh, you did not just go there. Oh, but I did. Now be quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. Okay. Fine. I'll be quiet. Scout! Damn it! You got in my eye! The table! What happened? Ow! Dude! What the hell was that? Hey, I was quiet. Just like you said. Ouch! 
man, looks like both teams are having their fair share of issues. But the Lunalis might be heading to elimination once again tonight. Find out if it's true when we come back. Welcome back to Abandoned. Both teams are currently hard at work trying to make the best lemonade to sell to customers. It's 20 minutes until the tasting begins, and Doduo has just halted their team's progress. You better have a good reason as to why this happened, because someone is going to get slapped very soon. Let me remind you that it was not my fault. It was his. Well, you started it. You made fun of me. You scored a juice in my eye. Stop, both of you. Fighting won't solve anything. We just have to get more supplies. But we only have 20 minutes left. There's no time to get this lemonade to perfection. We'll just have to compromise then. Come on. Grr. When this challenge is over, I am going to bash both of that bird's heads in. To be honest, Fletchling really scares me. Eh, I think she's kind of hot. Okay, it's one o'clock, and both teams have begun selling their drinks. Team Sogaleo have decided to go with Pansier's Berry Lemonade to sell, while the Lunalis have gone with Standard Lemonade. While they sell those, other teams are starting to bake their brownies. Ah! Or at least trying to. Hello, and what would you like? Yes, two cups, please. Of course. Hey, you look kind of familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? No, I don't think so. I just like a quiet life, off the grid, away from the cops, you know. Um, okay? Here you go. Great, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Uh, how are we doing on those brownies? Just about done! Who wants a taste? Wow, these are really good. They really are. Although right now it's just nice to taste something that doesn't make you crap yourself. You just don't get comedy. But really, these are amazing. What's in them? Oh, just your typical ingredients. But best of all, it has love. Whew. Blech! That was very painful to do. But I need these people to have a better perception of me before I stab them all in the back later on. I'm probably going to have to do some very... pleasant things. Whew. This is depressing. And I have seen some depressing shit. This is a nightmare. This is a true nightmare. Is it... really? Yes, it is. And it's all that stupid, two-headed doofus's fault. I still think putting us in jail is a bit of a stretch. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime! Thank you, Mincino. That was... Well, that was something. Hang on. I think I have an idea. What are you doing? Just watch. Hey, look, people are coming over. Oh my god, it's actually working. Hey, people! Come buy some lemonade and watch the show! Ta-da! Hey, Corfish, wanna jump in? Oh, hell yes! Yay! Go team! Woo! Alright, guys! That doesn't sound like thinking about what you've done! Sorry. <sighs> Once the stunt started, people began flying in left and right. It was like the circus. It was crazy. Whew. Genius. Pure genius. I am so proud of myself in coming up with this. It's about time my tricks came in handy. Even better, Evie came up to me a little later and asked me to be in some alliance or something. So now I have allies. Sweet. Whew. Thank you and have a great day. We hope you enjoy. I want to bite you! Um... Okay? Um, I mean... Buy this yellow drink! Thank you and have a wonderful day. Wow, Taylo, things are going great! I know, Fennekin and Corfish are interacting with the customers, and the brownies are selling like hotcakes. Therefore, 
Lemonade is selling like hotcakes. As much as that makes sense. Awesome! We might actually win the challenge! Here's hoping. Hey, real quick. I wanted to run this idea by you about an alliance. An alliance? Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll have to think about it, but it sounds great. Hey, man! Can I bum off another glass of the lemonade? Oh, um, sure. Here you go. Ha ha ha, righteous! Okay, that is the third time someone has asked me that same question. Like, same voice and all. <clears throat> now that I see it, everyone here looks kind of glazed. And they smell strange. Yeah, it's almost as if they're... Oh, no. What? Who was in charge of making the brownies? Oh, shit. Uh, Tyro, can you cover for us real quick? On it. There you go. Have an excellent day. Ha ha ha. out! Oh, hey guys! Man, this challenge is going pretty well, don't you think? Yeah, it's great. Look, you made the brownies, right? That is correct. Great. Next question. Uh, what's in the brownies? Oh, nothing strange. Just your basic ingredients. Eggs, sugar, chocolate, chocolate chips. Is that all? Well, that was for the first few. For the last couple, I thought I'd spice things up by adding some of the- some of my... Devil's lettuce, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You... You mean pot. The, these are pot brownies? That's right! Trico! That- this, this, this is not okay! Why not? It's legal here. Still, it's a drug! That's very dangerous! Evie, I've been smoking this stuff for three years. I only put in a tiny amount per square. Trico, there are guys here who've eaten like ten. Oh, that's bad. Okay, stop using your devil's lettuce and go back to the original recipe. I'll try to get these people some coffee. I think that only works if you're drunk. Well, it's the only idea I have at this point. We are f***ed. I'm not ashamed to admit that I smoke pot. It all started when I was at an airport, and some bum dropped his bong on the ground and it rolled right at my feet. I picked it up, stuffed it in my bag, and I still use it to this day. Okay, folks, we have ten minutes left in the taste test. And even though it's still anybody's game, it looks as though the Solgaleos have this one locked. How's it going? Excellent. We have so much positive feedback. Good. Because I just heard that Trico got all his team's customers high. Seriously? Yep, we've got this down. We are going to win this challenge. Yes! Trap! It's a trap! What was that? Uh, I don't know. Sounds like Bergmite being Bergmite. I Meaning he might be just rehearsing for something. He might, he might even be doing his Admiral Akbar impression. I don't know. Just ignore it and it'll probably go away. THIS LEMONADE IS POISON! Maybe he means the other team? Let's go see what the hell he's doing. Trust me, people. I've seen things that none of you could ever anticipate. This is not real lemonade. I saw exactly what my team puts in these glasses. What is it? They put their own waste. You... You mean they... They peed in the drink? That's right! Gross! Disgusting! That's unsanitary! What the hell is he doing? I, I don't know. He just started yelling out all of a sudden these lies. I was watching the lemonade the whole time. Trust me, no one peed in it. Well, I didn't think so. Did he eat some of Trico's brownies? No, it's Bergmite. He's just a lunatic. He thinks these crazy thoughts and spews them out whether they're true or not. I don't think I even want to know what the brownies are made of. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, it's not what you think. Uh, that's a relief. No, all we did was just put, put a scoop of dirt in the batter. Blech! I can't believe I let my children eat these! Yeah, let's go next door. No, wait! People, stop! This man is crazy, he's not even on our team! Please, wait. Exposed! Ha! Oh my god, I, I think I'm gonna be sick! I remember an episode of 
the Fairly Odd Parents, where the main character, Timmy, had a lemonade stand to get tickets for the ice capades or something like that. And somehow, the lemonade tasted much better when you added his godparent Cosmo's sweat to the mix. Only problem is, if you drank it, it caused involuntary wishes. And the town gets flipped upside down like usual. Yeah, that would have been so much better than what Bergmite said and did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow, I'm surprised. Here it comes. Well, teams, first of all, you both did an excellent job. And even though it looked like a slam dunk for one of the teams, the other one suddenly came back swinging. And it was only a difference of two votes. But in the end, we have a winner. And that team is... Team Lunala! What? Yes! All right! Thank Arceus. Damn it! Thanks a lot, Icicle Brain. No regrets. I exposed all of you for what you truly were. Saboteurs working for the man! H hang on, wait a minute. They put pot in their brownies, and they still won? If you recall, I said it's all about the drinks, not the brownies. Yes, Trico committed an illegal crime in 16 states, but his team still prevailed where it counted. I mean, at least they didn't mistake their pitchers for toilets. For the last time, we didn't pee in the lemonade. Keep telling yourself that at elimination. I'll see you guys tonight. Ugh, this sucks. I'm happy. Oh, shut up, Bergmite. I did my job, and I did it well. You better watch out, because this show will not last too much longer. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for participating in today's sample. We have our results, now we just need to settle the fee. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, the what? Oh, did you all think that this was actually free? No, 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 no. I'm gonna need $50 from every single one of you. What? That's not fair! You can't just swindle us out of our money! Okay, first of all, swindle? It's not the 1950s. And second of all, I can. It says so in the fine print of your forms. What fine print? Nice try. This fine print, it's right here. Harry Amo? Yeah? You remembered to put in the fine print, right? I thought you were gonna do that. Oh, shit. Well, if there's no fine print, I guess we'll be on our way. What? No. No, 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 no! Guys, seriously! I, I, I need some money! I mean, what, what if I lower it to $25, huh? Uh, no? Okay, uh, how, how about 20 That's better. Okay, okay, just name your price. Please, someone, just give me a dollar or something to get my uncle to move out. It's... No. This is probably a bad time to tell you this, but I accidentally broke your oven this morning making the eggs. I know I said I wasn't making them. I changed my mind. Ah, hello boys! How'd today go? Total success. Really? Yeah, in opposite world, we bombed. Not a single dollar made. All because someone forgot to put in the fine print. I swear to Osseus, you said you were going to do it. No, I didn't, fellas, fellas! It's okay, you can try something again tomorrow. In the meantime, I can just enjoy relaxing in this awesome lake house. I kind of wish this debt never gets paid off. <sighs> Ow! But what about the money? Take it! I don't care anymore! You are just impossible! Problem solved. Damn. That was harsh. I know what I said before about being done helping him out. But man, that guy is just impossible to deal with. Is it possible in any way that you did what you did out of love for your uncle? Yeah. No way. Okay. Well, today sucked. Yeah, we had the lead, but that idiot blew it. Yeah, but on the bright side, easy vote tonight. Bergmite is toast. Oh, no, he's not. We're voting Ghastly. What? Are you crazy? No, I'm not. All Bergmite did was say some crazy lie. 
What Gastly did? If that got sold, we would have been in even more trouble. That was just way too close of a call. Fair point, but Gastly can be tamed. Bergmite is just a moron. He's unstable for a show like this. We gotta send him home. Eventually, we will. But Gastly isn't taking the game seriously. Neither is Bergmite! Okay, never interrupt me or there will be consequences. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Get the word out. Gastly is a goner. I don't want him to leave. Me neither, but Snappy will get pissed if we don't vote him out. And we will send him home eventually. What are we going to do? I don't know. My vote is for Gastly tonight. He isn't taking the game seriously. It won't matter, but I'm voting for Ghastly. I'm voting for the idiot that is Bergmite. Bergmite, that dude needs some serious help. I'm not sure if this is the right move, but I'm going to be voting off. Team Sogaleo, I'm sure every single one of you is pissed that you're here tonight. <laughs> Get it? Pissed? Too soon? Whatever. I have 14 Orin Berries with me tonight. If you get no berry, you must say goodbye, get on the bus of shame, and leave the game for good. You know the drill. If I call your name, you're safe. Zorua. Pantsir. Totodile. Electrike. Magby. Mindfu. Snivy, Marie, Snowrunt, Bulbasaur, Cyndaquil, Mistrevis, and Oshawott. Phew, that was close. Not really. Bottom two, come on down. You two received all of the votes tonight, and one of you is about to go home. Ghastly. You're here because of your constant pranking of the team. I mean, you put laxatives into a batch of lemonade. Hilarious, but your team didn't find that as funny as you did. I'm just trying to liven up the competition. Speaking of things you'd do in the bathroom, Bergmite! Dude, what you did... That was just gross. It was the truth! The truth, I tell you! You keep telling yourself that, man. Anyway, let's read the votes. Ghastly. Ghastly. Bergmite. Bergmite. Two votes each. Nervous yet? No, it's me. I already know it's me. Why should I be nervous? Fair point. Bergmite. Ghastly. Ghastly. Oh. Bergmite. Oh. Bergmite. 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 That's seven to four for Bergmite. Bergmite, one more vote, and you're out of the game. Surprise, surprise. It could be a shock to everyone here if you stay. I mean, the last four votes could be for Ghastly, but they're not. I know they're not. So just tell me I'm out already. Okay, you know what? Fine. Spoil the suspense. Last votes are all for Bergmite. Ghastly, you are safe. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop. Ha! I was eliminated. I was right. What did I tell you guys? Yeah, the joke is so on us. We feel so stupid right now. This show really is scripted. Expose them. Learn from my mistakes and expose them. Nut job. That's all I'm saying. Thank God he's gone. Good night, guys. Whew. Yeah, Quills and I voted for Ghastly. We didn't really want to, but we thought it best to stay on Snivy's good side and not piss her off by going against the plans. 
We still have to be the ones to eventually make the first move and send her home. Take me to the control room! Yeah, he ain't going there. Let me state something real quick. Nothing here is scripted. Everything is 100% real and 100% genuine. There may always be skeptics, but true fans know us for what we really are. A clean, fair reality show. See you next time on Abandoned! I knew it. I f***ing knew it. I knew it was my time tonight. This just confirms even more that I was right. And that this whole game is fake. And the producers are controlling everything. I wish no luck to my competitors. As they were all stupid to sign up for a show like this. While I did it to expose PBN for what they are. Phonies. I know exactly who will win. But all I can say is, expect nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey, wait up. I need a ride back to Alola. Wait. And now, the season premiere of Hector the Pet Inspector. Right now.